<laughs> that was unreactable. Okay. That that was interesting. That's definitely what I imagined when I was thinking of downpour. Was unreactable scab teleportation. <laughs> Cause the scabs weren't crazy enough, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Thank you. I want to know how many frames. I, I'm streaming at 30, I think. I want to know how many frames it was from where the scav, like, was about to move to when it just shanked me. Because that felt like, um... I felt like five frames. <laughs> that was... That was so fast. You see, I was hoping that Scav would fight the King Vulture for me. Instead, it just teleported and, and just owned me. This is interesting. Half my body is outside this pipe, but it doesn't matter. So that's reactable then. Reactable. I could have reacted in time. So that was a skill issue for sure. I'm trying to remember who, uh, oh, it was some dingus said about the sound being disturbing. This is a little too exciting. Oh my lord. Hello, scurry. Hello, raid. Scurry onto Spearmaster yet? I think I saw that. You can watch me die in the speedrun. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. I am curious to know what you think of Downpour overall, but first I'll introduce myself. Welcome everyone. I am Ice Tolberones. I have the 100% and any percent speedrun world records from the pre-downpour version of Rain World, which was version 1.5. And so you can see, you know, this is a perfect time for a no reset run. You can see what speedrunning this game kind of looks like a bit. But very, first, of course, as tradition in this game, what you have to do is karma cash. So you just... Stay in bed instead of uh, going and doing your slug cat job. And thankfully for slug cat though, because of vanilla exploits, that works out, and your karma goes up. Because it's pretty peaceful to just stay in bed, right? Um. Okay. I'm not very experienced with this particular run yet, still. Because I've only been doing it for... I mean, I only have, like... I guess I have, like... Wait, what? Do I have 500 attempts at this already? 
Damn. I kind of don't believe that, but... Nice. I, I'm glad to hear that you liked it, Scurry. All except Kaizo Cat. That, that's really a good name for it, honestly. Also, thanks for all the follows. Yeah, um... Uh, there's a lizard above me. Just going to... Okay, it's pink. Ooh. Yes, thank you. Uh... Well, I'll do my best to not die for you all. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's been kind of a grind so far. This run in particular is kind of tough compared to what I'm used to as well. So, seeing the cyan lizard there is good. I'm concerned for a camel lizard being in here. Okay. That's actually good that it was there like that. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a waste of time, but... Well, one of the good things now is that, uh, holy didn't see that one. That actually completely surprised me. Well, I'm going to stick with the route I have planned for this. Sorry, I'm not used to having so many chat messages. And also, it's like, because of the raid, it takes up twice as much room. But anyways. So, I will just preface this with a uh, downpour spoiler, but I think everyone that's watching Scurry maybe has seen the campaigns already. I'm basically going to the kind of cutscene ending for Spearmaster, where you take the pearl to the top of uh, Sky Islands. And in particular, I'm doing it without one of the remix settings. So, it's kind of doing things the hard way, I suppose. Want this? Rainworld is one of my favorite games. It's a very unique experience, for sure. I wish I had more cycle length. I uh, actually see if I can get a better time. That was like the minimum. Yeah, that's better. It's too bad that uh, on rerolling I have to wait for the slow animation, but it is what it is. Ooh, here, take it. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of good, but not. Um, let's see what happens. Can I get a cheesy hit here? That would be cool if I can. No, okay. Ooh, red string of doom.
Okay, goodbye. <laughs> That fell is horrifying. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. Things are now vaguely going according to plan. I was wondering why you rest before getting the Vulture Mask. Uh, I need more karma to get into the next region. And normally what you would do in these runs traditionally is you would just do all your karma caching at once. Okay. Dropping's a little scary. But I'm just kind of... I, I'm knowing that I want to rest at a certain point that's like midway through. And so I may as well do it closer to where I'm trying to farm the vultures in case I die. I can just try again in uh, less time. I mean, if you had watched other runs, it, it's very unusual. Like, it's almost something you never do in uh, other categories, so definitely not a dumb question. Uh, the regular vulture, you know, gonna play it safe. This game is very smooth once you get good at it. You start out feeling like a slug, and then uh, eventually you graduate to being a cat. That's how it goes. Or you're still a slug. <laughs> I I'm just going to keep going from the shelter, actually. Mm. I lost my roll going up that slope. Which actually, wait... I, uh, I bet there's something I can do, actually, as this character that's probably easier than Survivor that I might start doing. There's, um... So normally, normally as Hunter, there's a certain thing I'm used to doing there. But this character actually, um, has further jumping than Survivor. Well, I'm doing this again. I mean, I, I'm still far away from an optimized time for this category, so I don't like having to redo Chimney again, but I'm kind of tired, and so I want to get a run to the end here. Scavs again is kind of not the greatest, but here, take my stick. Regular vulture. Should be a king, I hope. No. What is this vulture doing? So, vultures are kind of funny. Um, their face is sort of like determines their social hierarchy of like how good their mask is. And other vultures will actually attack demasked vultures is one interesting thing about it. But also, if you remove a vulture's mask like I just did and then leave, it is an enemy for life. It is, it is going to try to hunt you down with uh, all of its power. I'm more used to that jump as Survivor. Uh, 
But still, this thing is worth getting. I just might have to deal with the King Vulture chasing me in some unfortunate times later. We'll see, though. I'll see if I can avoid it, because it's injured this cycle, so it might not try to kill me yet. But uh, when I come back through Chimney, it, it might chase me again later. We will see. I feel like this is worth it, especially if I miss that tech. So this is likely the Demasked King, if I had to guess. I'm going to try to go quick to get ahead of it. I think I should have enough time. Nope. Okay. Hello, soft boiled egg. This time, I'm going to be very cautious and do that. Man, I'm having so much trouble doing that. Um, I had, to, I had to I had to just get to move away just a little. That was scary. Uh following to other regions is something I'm pretty sure is not supposed to happen. Kind of weird, actually. Also, how much time do I have? Thoughts. Yeah, in the same region, that vulture is alive forever, and it has a grudge against you. Also, hello again, Friday. I hope that you resolved whatever issue you were having uh, earlier. And I hope you're staying warm, if you have not. Uh, I don't want this rock, but... Okay, nice. Um, the cyan's leaving is good. So you can probably imagine... So without this vulture mask, all of the cyan lizards would be chasing after me right now. And that's really slow. I could fight them, or try to pipe juke them, but it's it is, it is slow. Yeah, so the best part about this character is we can just make stick here. You can just jump up this without uh, that stick, but it's it's a really challenging jump to make. And so, especially since I can spawn sticks as this character, I'm just gonna do it this way. It's kind of a safety strat. Oh. So, of course, everyone's favorite 
thing in the game is right here. Pull plants. Or pull mimics. The thing where the, uh, the game violates the most sacred trust between the player and the game. That you're like, oh, pulls are safe. I'm safe here from lizards. And then one just, one just eats you. <laughs> okay, so another thing that's different from Downpour now, actually, is there are scabs up here. Which is very scary. Um... My heart just skipped a beat there, because I thought that was a scab that might kill me. Okay. Oh yeah, this was the run that died to um, falling off there. Yeah, that that pole plant is uh, is very excellent. It's it's just there to uh, trip up ex even experienced players. Wow, so many sticks. Why can't I get this kind of luck in Survivor Pebbles percent? So I think someone asked me earlier about what the red circles are. It's the uh, threat indicator, and I mainly have it on because of this exact spot. Because I can tell where the scavs are. Which there are seem to be none here. Thankfully. Oop. Okay, good night, Rack. Yeah, scabs still work even when that goes around. Unfortunately. Which there's kind of lore reasons for that. Uh, but yes, sadly, that is a thing. This one. So, going to see our favorite uh, antagonist, Five Pebbles. The obvious villain of Rainworld, even though they help you to uh, actually succeed the first time, generally. No, I almost did that right. Uh, in this specific one, no. Moon is second. Oh man, this is annoying. I need this thing. Okay, I got it. You know, that could have been a lot worse. So, I I'll I'll take that. I will I will gladly I will gladly take that. Uh, true. <laughs> I, I, I feel like uh, the uh, the DLC did a great job of expanding the lore how it needed to. It really was a it really the DLC really is a love letter to uh, people who love the base game. It truly is. Mm. 
Does it take you to moon first? I mean, uh, I'll be honest. I kind of just ignore the iterators. Or iterators, sorry. The overseers. When I play this game generally, I just kind of ignore them. <laughs> Interesting. I think Aira might have made a wrong assumption uh, with that. Okay. So I'm going to do safety strats. This is what I have decided now. It's safety strats time. And this is perfect, actually. So there is one problem with what I'm going to do. Which is needing more food. Okay, this is weird. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Back to normal. Oh, there is here. Painting Zen. <laughs> yeah, virtual controller moment, exactly. Um, but now I can do this, so it's all worth it. Excellent. I just assume that, um, That is a mad scab. I'm surely if I just give it spears, it'll it'll not kill me, right? That's that's how this works. Don't do it. Take them. Take them. Take them. Look. I'm your friend. Okay. All right. So after establishing trust with that scav, we can just not die to him and go this way. Uh oh, more scavs. See, Friday, I bet you weren't using the threat indicator, which is now my favorite thing. Just because of the scabs. See, we're friends now. I gave him a weapon, so now we're friends. That's how that's that's how you make friends. Uh, it is kind of moon time now, but it's it's a bit of a journey to get there. Ouch. Oops. Okay. You know, that scab wasn't trying to hit me, actually. That scav kind of, I think, went out of its way to actually avoid hitting me, which is nice. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Oh. Uh, Okay. So, I'm actually going to take the shelter here. Even though I kind of hate it, but I'm going to do it. I don't want to deal with the scabs again. And since this is a no reset run, I'm going to actually treat it like that. Marathon strats. 
the fact that I have this vulture mask means I should be able to easily beat my um, PB at this. And also, I, I don't have time to make it to where I want to go anyways, so... This, this really is the best of both worlds. The only problem I have now... Uh, is eating food. Which I technically don't, because I uh, managed to eat full, so... That's a cool camo lizard there. Why why is this there? Is it does it always live here? I give you gift. Uh, this other one doesn't like me though. Okay. I'm hoping this makes some of the spawns a little more consistent too. Although it's kind of gonna be irrelevant. Wait, where's where's my grapple worm? Oh, did I? Okay. Well, I haven't done this yet in this patch, so this is something different. Thankfully, I'm the character who is most able to do this, actually. Uh, besides Artificer. Actually, I'm not the character that's most able to do this. This is like the old strat that I used to do. Still no grapple worm. Okay, well, we are getting... This is a very interesting no reset run where things are just completely wrong right now. Although now I have unlimited sticks, which is kind of interesting. This is like opens up new possibilities of how I can actually do this. Yeah, because now a lot of these jumps are actually kind of easy to do. Uh, I don't want that. No, I was trying to pounce. It's okay. Hopefully the grapple worm actually exists. There's supposed to be a grapple worm as this character around here. So, I'm not sure what happened to it. Also, weird that didn't happen last time, but it is this time. I just remembered I want to leave this mask in there. And yeah, the grapple worm's not here. I have a feeling a creature migrated and now the uh, grapple worm is gone, which I haven't seen yet actually doing this. Uh, no, throwing it either way doesn't give you speed. There's a specific move I'm doing for that jump. So, this thing is called the e-slide, where I throw behind me and slide like that. But there's a variation where you basically jump out of the startup frames of the uh, e-slide at a certain timing. And so you basically get the speed of it, but you're in the air instead. It's pretty difficult. But um, thankfully, it lets me make this jump. Okay, now it's in here. All right, whatever. I don't know what happened last time. This is what I was trying to do last time. Oops. Well, 
We're getting into dark spooky land now. Which is sad, because last time I did the hard part correctly. And then, and then messed up the easy thing. Ah, and this time there's even a grapple room in a good spot. Over here. Ooh. Well. Okay. You know, I want to do some of the risky things, but I don't feel confident in doing them right now, so I'm playing it safe. No reset. No reset. This run really is Saint but Spearmaster. Because this is just the fastest uh, way to move horizontally through these parts. Oops. Okay. Uh, this is one thing that I am not that great at, is while jumping while holding a uh, grapple worm. It's way tougher to do. I'm going to try to get... Uh, okay, you know, I'm just going to go. Uh, nice. As I am saying no reset and being careful, I do things like that because, you know, that that was that was careful, right? I was at no risk of danger uh, whatsoever there. Oh. These terrible abominations. Okay, that was close, actually. That drop we could could have killed me. Worked out though. <laughs> yeah, they're they're Miro's vultures now. Those things are horrifying. They're they're as horrifying as they sound. Oh, this is like perfect lizards fighting each other and getting out of my way. Yeah, spider is going to become mad in a moment. But, uh, just do this slowly, honestly. Um, have to be a little careful for a cyan lizard that's missing. Oh, that was close. Holy moly. See, I, I'm learning the spawns. I, I knew. I just knew in my heart that there was a cyan lizard that was right there. I knew. I had no indication it was there. I just knew. <sighs> well, you know, we we always have to always have to push it to the edge in this game. The edge of safety. Okay. So, I can't remember... So, I have to go through two gates here. I can't remember what the karma on the second gate that I need to get through is. But this one's minimal. So, this is like an important checkpoint in this run.
Yeah, that's unfortunate, but we will see. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm going. I can't check because the map doesn't work. Or I don't have the map because I never rest here in this run. I swear I managed to get through here, though, in my run without it. There must be a shelter on the right side of it, then? Because I definitely got in here, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. This is something that uh, is actually super relevant for this run. Cool. That was like super bonus food. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that that's a safe strat, right? <laughs> um This part I really don't like cuz I I I don't know what to do. Like That that's my strat here. And this one is also terrible. Like, what are you supposed to do about this part if you don't know better, right? I don't know. Thank you for the good luck. And also good night. Unfortunately, I'm still learning these rooms. Um, is that a king? Ah, yes, I remember this now. Which I'm pretty sure I need to actually just literally uh, go in here. If I remember this correctly. Because this will actually leads up. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. And now my biggest problem. So I'm missing two creatures. I'm missing a camel lizard. 
And I'm missing a drop wig. Um, okay. Whatever. Which, I'm not totally used to where these creatures like to hang out yet, so I'm kind of going cautiously right now. Um, drop wig is not there. Okay, well, it must be in the last hallway then. Unless they, uh, self-destructed. Hmm. This doesn't seem like a drop wig hangout, eh? Okay. Glad to oh, there's a shelter here. This is five. Okay, okay. This isn't so bad. As long as you can make it to this one, it's not a big deal. How much time do I have? Uh, okay. So, do I... Do I try to see... Okay, I'm curious to see how this region goes with um, having the gravity not cycle, whether I get stuck anywhere. I should be able to make it through with just the grapple worm pretty decently. Pretty sure I go up here. Yep, into this thing. This is yet another spot that I'm kind of learning from scratch still. I've done only a couple runs of. So I'm still I'm still working on it. Oops. I want that. I'm just, uh, okay. With good old grapple buddy here. This room also scary. The good thing is it's almost rain time. So this is a good test for me actually. Because I'm not sure if Moon does her dialogue, actually, post-rain at all, which might be might be a very unfortunate test of this, but, you know. Gotta try things sometimes. Also, I just seen that comment. Thank you, constructive cynicism. Oh. One of the things about this game, though, is that it does require a lot of your attention. Which, I mean, a lot of speedruns are like that, but this game is particularly quite a quite a beast with it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can manage to get up this. Might be tough, though. Yeah, I have to do it this way, probably. There we go. That one's a bit tough. Okay. So what's happened now is that Moon is like asleep. So the uh, gravity cycles have stopped. 
Do I know the moon has a surprise? Um. Oops. I don't quite know, perhaps. I've done this campaign before, if that's what you're saying. So, perhaps not a surprise to me. And I had issues with this spot last time as well, but I oh, just got to get a little up. <laughs> this The thing I'm trying to get into is right here. Yeah, it's hard to see. I'm learning. I'm learning. This is a process, though. Okay. This room not being zero G is probably terrible. Because I want to get over to uh, this side. You know, uh, the reduced gravity actually makes this uh, pretty reasonable. Ooh. Except I can't see the terrain here because this big cable is in the way. Okay. I want to go up. There's a cool shelter here that I'm not going to use. I'm pretty sure I want to go up again. Should, I'm going to just double check. I'm pretty sure I want to go up. Nope. This way. Which, something I'm going to do just because is... Uh, hit a neuron, which I missed them all somehow. Hit a neuron. Okay, good. Ooh. Scary glass breaking sounds. Okay. Oh, there's gravity here. Cool. Oh! Thank you. I didn't see it. No, no, I can get it. I can get it. I need it. So wait, is it in the... It's down in the corner, probably. They they added something that's actually super helpful in downpour for this exact issue that I am currently having. Okay. This is... Oh, this way. Oh, I'm going to swim there the slow way. I got fooled by the color of the neuron. <laughs> it's just probably down in the corner in there. Yeah. Well, okay. I would have got to moon and been like, what? I, I wouldn't know where it was, but... Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you. This is now a co-op speed run. This is a pearl, right? Yeah. You know, this this thing looks just like a neuron. Oh, is my thing still followers only? It's not, right? Oh, is it? Oh. Oops. Wow. You know, whatever. At least it. Uh, at least it doesn't wait. It doesn't make you wait. That's what I mean. You see, I, I don't uh, have a obvious thing. I just have to remember that. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. The biggest question I have for this part, which I don't know if I can just do this right now. I can. I don't know if it's better to go through the top to get away from Moon, or if it's better to just go back the way that I came. It's something I am not sure about right now.
This is something that I do not know the answer to. So, I've been going a different way, just for convenience, but it might actually be worse. I don't actually know yet. I will find out someday. Yes, that is a good point. Falling is maybe better. Unfortunately, I have to wait here for a while, but... This is like perfect pee break opportunity. Moon with the orange shirt is canon. <clears throat> it's too bad that moon doesn't like immediately do the pearl for you so that you can just leave like the uh like the funny way this is something i'm gonna have to look at the code to find out actually is whether uh moon completes her cutscene even if she can't touch the pearl oh no moon There's some testing I'm going to have to do, but for now I just want to uh, kind of have a preliminary route out there that I don't hate. This one had one bad death right now, but you know, whatever. I'm, I'm kind of tired of doing this today. I need to, I need to rest. It, it's funny, this is a, uh, I wouldn't say glitch that I've noticed, but like... Moon is really bad at getting a hold of this pearl. If Leon is still here, they need to read this part. To the far west of here, past the silently towering chimney stacks of Five Pebbles Complex, you will find a place sun-baked lands with beautiful flora that straddle the clouds. There is a communication array located there. It is the nearest one that may still be functioning. Its system should recognize and respond to my sign broadcast key. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't have the pearl again, so I have to go down and grab it. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're carrying this thing for the long haul. Spearmaster and this pearl is like a symbiotic organism. There's no, there's no which way I'm getting rid of this thing. Okay, can I go outside here though? This is something I also don't quite know the answer to. Oh, oh, please, please. No. I'm trying to go up. This is not up. Okay. Ah, 
Uh, it's just Leon wandered off to uh, Outer Expanse or whatever that area is called, looking for the communications array. Uh, it's weird, but it's very intentional. Because um, if you think about it, you really don't have to do it, you know? You, you can definitely not do it. And for Spearmaster, having to carry a pearl is like the worst burden you could ever put on this character, really. And it's it's very much so intentionally like that. That you have this character that's so cool and can hold two spears and whatnot. But now you gotta babysit this pearl. Okay, I am going to try to just go, and hopefully it works out. Because I'm pretty sure last time I just rested, but I will I'll, I will see what happens. Yeah, it's very much so um, a hindrance. It's kind of similar to Hunter. Um, but the difference with Hunter, right, is that the way that they restricted you was by having both the Neuron and the uh, Message Pearl. These orange lizards still here? This is cool. They're like nightlight lizards or something. Ah, good. These uh, eldritch abominations. Whatever, whatever these things are, I hate them. Oops. So last time I made a mistake with not the spot. Oh, there's zero G in here again. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, good. You know, I, I these things are chill, right? It it doesn't want to hurt me. I'm big chilling. You know, I just got a grapple worm. I got this thing. I'm big chillin'. I'm not doing anything. Don't hurt me, please, please. <laughs> Those things are horrifying. It's just the potential, right? The potential of them doing something unexpected. You're getting like a taste of how uh, how amazing the DLC is, constructive cynicism. The DLC is amazing. All the campaigns are this great, yes. They they really really all of them are this great actually. I personally really like this one, but but they are all this great. Uh Okay, okay. I, I screwed this up last time. I want to go... 
I want to go. Where do I want to go? I screwed this up last time, I remember. I need, I need to check this again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because last time I screwed this up and I ended up going the wrong way and I regret my decisions. Okay, I'm trying to get there, right? I need to go, I need to go down, down, left, up. Okay. I remember now. Oh, this fella. Down. Left. This part is a little annoying, I think. Actually, th this isn't so bad. I, I think I can just climb pretty okay. Um, surely someone can figure out a better way to do this than what I'm currently doing, but you know, we're doing what we're doing. So down, left, and then up, which is where I went wrong last time. Because now I'm in here, which of course this isn't going to turn on because Moon's asleep. And now I have to go up, which I can't see above me right now. Uh, okay, try that again. This is kind of unfortunate. Uh, screen transition spot. Okay, yeah, there we go. Right? And so now we're in a room that I recognize. We are in this room. Which, I went the wrong way. Does this way work? Yeah, it works. Just slower. I think. Oh, actually, maybe this is better going down. Uh, probably not. Okay. And now I take this shelter, because I have to. Okie dokie. So, I just have to, you know, go back through the precipice and whatnot. And right now the goal is to go back the whole way that I came and get to where the, um, get to where the vulture mask was left. And then sleep there. That is the goal right now. I have enough time. Just have to hope that uh, things work out all right. This is kind of unfortunate that I can't really do this here. It's because of bonking on the ceiling. Someday, I will do these rooms a lot faster, once I uh, know them better. Not yet. Like, for instance, um, just... Doing some swing in there would be better, probably. 
There's nowhere to swing here, so you're stuck doing this. These spots with uh, the grapple movement is definitely one of the worst things about this character here. Or just the grapple worm, I mean. Like, it, it's kind of incompatible with uh, not having hard surfaces to use. Wait, what? Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to go this way. Right, right. And things like this where I can't see. Uh, which is unfortunate that I'm still uh, having to tackle some of these rooms like this. But um, I'd rather be safe for now, for sure, 100%. I'm trying to be very attentive with my ears right now. Because of this exact thing. So, I actually got kind of almost trolled by a, uh, whatever it's called last time I was here. This is annoying. Holy. Okay. <laughs> you actually, you have immunity, like you're literally invincible to bites when you first come out of pipes like that. I have enough food to rest, but... Okay. Do I take the shelter here? Or do I take the next one? I think I take the one here. It would have been smart to uh, get the popcorn that was close to here, but... Because I might end up in a situation where I need to get food. But we will, uh, we will try to make it work. Yeah, yeah, there's the cyan. That, that's why I did what I did. My original plan, though, I'd say routing-wise, is to get the food there. That's why I'm thinking I might skip this one. This is really risky, though. Okay. 
Sorry if I'm a little quiet right now. I'm just kind of focusing. No, that wasn't luck. That was that was a hundred percent what I was uh, vaguely planning to do. I would have dodged the drop wig anyways. How much time do I have? Not a lot. Uh. Okay. Ah, uh, this sucks. Can I do this? I can't. Okay. It's close. It's close. It's. Uh, I don't have enough time though. The, the problem is, I have... I would do this. There's a certain tricky thing I have to do, though. And that certain tricky thing is going to ruin me. For sure. There is a certain tricky thing I have to do. Yeah, I know, funny die, I know. <laughs> well, on the bright side, I'm gonna get to the gate, hopefully, that's like across from Sky Islands. There's a certain tricky thing I have to do. Uh, that I will get to soon enough, but... Basically, there's a spot where I want to use an up spear to get into a pipe. And I don't want to mess around with that. So, with that amount of time, I had two minutes, and I'm trying to make it all the way to the Vulture Mask. And so, since I'm just, like, going to hopefully be able to get the popcorn, this is also the spot I was talking about. Where I do that. Okay, try again. Was that going to work? Okay. I didn't want to mess around with that because I, I'm not, I uh, haven't practiced it very much. So I didn't want to like be freaking out when it's raining trying to do that. And also uh, trying to do this part with like, you know, imminent rain is a kind of stress I don't need in my life right now. Oh, I, up sparing is the only way that I've learned how to do that. I, I don't know if uh, the wall is close enough. Also, I'm terrible at going this way in this room just because, you know, it's the last room and I never do this. So we're, we're just we're just rolling with it like this. No, but the scabs love me, see? There, there's no way they're going to hurt me. The scabs, the scabs love me. We have an understanding. Me and the scabs, right? We have an understanding. I don't need to bring the grapple worm anymore. I could literally ditch it. Have to keep your eyes peeled here still for that... Drop wig. I 
I'm wondering if you can get up that wall with this. I'm pretty sure you can't, but... Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Dropwig. Or not Dropwig. Goodbye, Grapple Worm. Say hello to Vulture Mask. Yeah, never. Scavs would scavs would never betray friendship. If there's anything I learned about scavs, that is their number one priority is friendship. Oh, this isn't here. Uh, okay. Well, you know. I'm gonna just have to go kill something. Or get bat flies. All I really need to do is hit a vulture, right? I just need one food. Yeah, like you. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I'll be honest. I have no idea why. I'm close. Now it's time to get out of here. Here's our friend, the maskless vulture. Sometimes it is time to exercise patience. The echo effect does work on these rooms. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. The echo effect does not fully pacify the vultures in uh, that room. Okay. Well, that was kind of an unfortunate thing to have near the end of the run, but... 
basically just uh, getting to the finish now. Normally in this run, you would like to, uh, whatever it's called. Hello, Ambi. Normally in this run, you would like to have the grapple room here, but this is one way to do this. This run can be a lot better than this, but... Absolutely. I mean, or that can happen. Yeah, what, what was I saying about scabs? Scabs love me. This happened last run, too. Or not last run, but I mean, in my last attempt, too, I literally died to scavs almost this exact same way. Yeah, they, they just, like, were there. I just wasn't holding up. I also died to like the sneakiest white lizard ever last time that was like right there. Just curled up in a ball in that corner. Honestly, the thing that's deadliest to me right now is these squid cicadas. And vultures, of course. Uh, I think the camo's the same. That is a good question that I'm not totally 100% sure what the answer is. So I think this room, the rain is still deadly. I think once you get up to here, I think the rain in this room won't kill you. GG. Sub 130. Well, that was an experience again. Okay. Yeah, you accidentally, you know, when I did this the first time, uh, those, um, whatever, like lore antenna or whatever you would call them. There's the one on the, uh, there's the one on the right side. I jumped over to it and I touched it and the pearl went off the side and I had to walk all the way back. That was, that was an experience. That's how I learned to never touch those things. Anyways, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah. Constructive cynicism, of course, is still here. All of the campaign, like, as to not spoil you, as to not spoil you anymore, all of the campaigns are as good as this one. It's, it's, 
no, no joke. They're they're all as good as Spearmaster. The the DLC is amazing. Uh, Gor Gormond is, Gormond is, uh, I, I, I really like Gormond, actually. Like, it's grown on me. Playing it through a second time, I like it a lot better than I did the first time. I learned to appreciate it. It's, it's definitely different, which I think is a good thing, actually.